I am Kayla Daniels. Um, I'm a developer from Raleigh. Um, I work for a small startup called Provantage Corporate Solutions. Um, and today I wanted to talk to you about equality um, in technology. I wrote an article a couple weeks ago um, talking about this. It was primarily just me being frustrated. Um, wasn't terribly positive or constructive after a little bit of a retrospect on that. Um, came about because I obviously am a girl <laughs> and I'm a developer and a lot of time that means that I'm treated differently. Um, I've been called things like a unicorn. Um, I've had people talk about or, or perceive me as being less capable than others simply because I am a girl. Um, and I, I found that very frustrating and I kind of vented that into an article that spawned a bunch of discussion. Um, I've learned a lot since I wrote that. Um, and I can, I'll, I'll put the link on the hashtag on Twitter. Um, but really what I wanted to talk about is, is what I've learned since that. Um, so in that article I talked about uh, some of the programs that are available, um, classes, grants, scholarships, job offers, um, targeted at minorities and how I felt those were exclusionary and somewhat counterproductive. Um, some of the discussions come about has helped me realize that they're not necessarily exclusionary. Um, it might just be a, um, a messaging kind of disconnect there and that they are more inclusive. Um, so if anyone did read the article, I, I take back a lot of what I said about those, those programs being not necessarily good. Uh, the thing that I did end up with though after discussion and learning is that even if those things aren't necessarily inherently bad, I still don't work in the industry that I want to. Um, it's, not, it's not yet the space that I think it could be. Um, you know, we're developers, we solve problems. Um, pretty much every product I use today came about from somebody looking around at their environment and seeing something that wasn't the way they needed it to be. Um, processes that might be perfectly good for other people but didn't fit their use case. And so they look at those problems as opportunities and we develop solutions for them. That's what we do as a living. Um, it's what most of us are very passionate about doing. And so I kind of look at this as an opportunity and something that can be built upon. Um, I want to work in a place that is welcoming, empowering, um, respectful, really respectful and um, inclusive, where everyone can be treated equally, um, where we can collaborate and work together to make really just a better, a better future for developers. Um, I have an eight-year-old daughter. She's fairly nerdy. I kind of hope she gets a bit of that from me. Um, someday she might choose to be a developer, and I don't want her to ever be called a unicorn or sit in a room and feel out of place or like she's not able to talk simply because she's a girl. Um, I never want her to feel like less. So I sat down and I started thinking about what can we do to fix this? And I came up with something. Can you turn that on now? I'm calling the code manifesto. Um, so I, I sat down and I thought about what things would it take for us to, to make this a reality, for it to be something that can be actualized. They're really simple things. Um, I'll go over them in a moment. Uh, reading these things, they seem like common sense. They really are common sense. I mean, there's not a thing on this list that, not, that everybody doesn't know already um, and would want to do. Uh, I think sometimes it can get lost in translation, sometimes people don't think about it, and sometimes people are just downright jerks. And there's nothing that can be fixed about that. The idea behind this, um, this is very rudimentary. Again, I, I wanted to get this put together for the purpose of this talk. Um, I'm gonna build it into more of a robust site. Um, ideally, the idea is that we as developers or business owners or conference organizers can um, put your name down on this list and say, I ascribe to these values. Um, and this is, this is the community that we're building and this is what we stand for and this is what we believe in. 
Um, this is in no way an inclusive list. Uh, and it's actually not all my work either. One through four or mine, five Brian Gallagher um, helped contribute with. Six was um, suggested to me by Phil Sturgeon and in part by Matt Stoffer. And there are a couple more that Phil suggested that I haven't been able to put down. Um, so it will be on GitHub. I want it to be a community event. I want, I want everybody to be able to put their voice into what they would like to build moving forward in the space in which we work. Um, the things that, come, that I, I came up with to begin with uh, is not to discriminate against anyone for any purpose. And that's not just gender. Um, I had originally approached this as a gender issue, again, because I'm a girl. Um, but I've had, I've had the um, good fortune to be able to talk to um, a foreign developer from Italy who's had a lot of the same experiences that I've had being a girl because he's not, um, English is not his first language. And so he gets discriminated against because of that. So no discrimination for any reason to any person. Um, being aware of boundaries about, sorry, that sounds really loud. Am I? Okay, sorry. Uh, being aware of boundaries. Um, you know, what you're comfortable with is not what everyone else is comfortable with. And you have to realize that. And when someone brings it up to you, you have to respect it. Um, you know, we as a community are our biggest assets. So we should help each other. Nobody started out, I mean, th that I know of. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. But nobody was born an awesome developer. We all learned, and we should continue to learn from each other. Um, as an extension of that, we established developers are, are you know, the biggest assets for future developers. And so we should do what we can to help them. You know, anyone who's a novice, anyone who's looking at getting into the industry, you know, we should do what we can to help, help them. Being respectful is a big thing. Um, you know, make your discussions and your criticisms and your debates um, from a place of respect. You know, you can always ask yourself, is it true? Is it necessary? And is it constructive? Anything less is really not OK. Um, the sixth one comes up quite a lot, I think. Um, and it's not something that a lot of people necessarily focus on. But you know, we all make mistakes. We should all have the freedom to make mistakes and the ability to make mistakes. Um, again, like I said, some people are just real jerks. But a lot of times, things, things, things get said out of context. They get passed around via you know, telephone on, you know, he said, she said, she said, and, and you'll hear it, you know, from the fifth person. <clears throat> um, so if, if you do hear somebody has said something or posted something that is offensive or horrible, taking it up to 11 and rage hate should not be your first step. If, you know, we were in a conversation face to face and I said something that you didn't like, I would think that you would tell me, hey, I don't like that. Not, hey, I hope you, you know, your entire family starves because you made a really inappropriate joke. You know, it, you can approach it respectfully, privately, without spamming the entire internet with what a horrible person this person is. And then, you know, at that point, you're at a crossroads. If they respond well, great, you fix the problem, and nobody's, you know, reputation was slandered. If they respond poorly, you know, at that point, you can start to, to ratchet it up until they get the picture that this is not OK. Um, so those are the six that I've come up with at this point. Um, again, it's not an inclusive list. I would hope that more people will give input and we can build it until it is a more uh, comprehensive snapshot of, of the place that we're, we're trying to live in and trying to build. And through this, anyone who looks into our industry to see what kind of people developers are. We'll see that we are good people. Um, that this is, this is a space that is worth being in, a space that, that they would want to be in. So that young people looking at becoming developers, whether they be minority or uh, majority, I guess, um, aren't ever deterred by the community that we're offering them. That's all I've got. <laughs>